Top officials of the Biden administration are not the only ones touting these new public work projects made possible by the $1.2 trillion infrastructure law passed late last year. In fact, lots of Republican lawmakers are taking credit for jumpstarting these public work projects in their districts and states, even though many of them voted against the infrastructure bill that is providing the very funding for these projects. This past weekend, Iowa Democrat Liz Mathis, who's trying to unseat Republican Congresswoman Ashley Hinson, called Hinson out for trying to take credit for the infrastructure bill, even though she voted no. She voted no, now remember that, but also took credit about two weeks later for a project that was funded by infrastructure money. That is not the Iowa way. Republican Congresswoman Hinson had posted this statement where she told constituents that she, quote, helped lead a bipartisan group to, quote, prioritize the funding, adding, quote, I'll always fight to ensure Iowans taxpayer dollars are reinvested at home in Iowa, unquote. I guess, of course, except when she's voting against those investments. But Hinson is hardly the only Republican trying to claim success for something they voted against. At least 14 congressional Republicans tried to have their cake and vote against it, too. Congressman Tony Gonzalez from Texas is on the list after voting against the infrastructure bill in November, calling it uh, something that will only make matters worse and hold our country back. Months later, Gonzalez posted a big announcement on his website, touting that he secured $75 million for a creek restoration project in his congressional district. That money, of course, came from the infrastructure bill that he voted against. Florida Senator Rick Scott did the same thing. He voted against the infrastructure bill then. He went to tour a new embankment in the Everglades, bragging about, quote, securing an unprecedented $1 billion for Everglades restoration, the largest single amount ever allocated by the federal government, unquote. The federal government that was given the money for the project from the infrastructure bill that Senator Rick Scott voted against. But it's not just infrastructure. We also see Republicans trying to capitalize on. It's also the American Rescue Plan. You might remember that. That's the coronavirus funding package passed by Congress, which, among other things, gave money to small businesses and to restaurants. We found at least 11 Republican members of Congress who voted against that bill and then turned around and bragged about securing funds that they voted against. Some of their tweets that make hay despite having voted nay. Congressman Greg Pence telling his district, help is on the way. Congressman Troy Balderson telling constituents to mark their calendars to apply for the funding that he voted against. President Biden has, more politely than us, also noticed this phenomenon. Even my Republican friends in Congress, not a single one of them voted for the rescue plan. I'm not going to embarrass any one of them, but I have here a list <laughs> of how back in their districts they're bragging about the rescue plan. We also have a list, a few lists, actually, because there was also, of course, the massive omnibus spending bill that passed this March. At least 10 Republicans who voted no then took credit for funding. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik from New York, quote, I have worked to secure many critical wins for upstate New York and the North Country. Stefanik also posting a list of more than 10 local projects that would now have funding because of this spending bill that she voted against. Several of these Republicans did not respond to our request for comment, but those that did made statements along the lines of, hey, I supported the funding for that, I just didn't like the whole bill, or as Congresswoman Hinson's office said, quote, since the bill was signed into law, this money was going to be spent regardless. If there's federal money on the table, the Congresswoman is, of course, going to do everything she can to make sure it is reinvested in Iowa, unquote. Now, this is not entirely a new phenomenon, and though in general now it's Republicans guilty here, Progressive Democrat Ayanna Presley of Massachusetts also voted against the infrastructure bill. She did it as a protest because the Build Back Better Act was not attached to infrastructure. And Congresswoman Presley later turned around and took credit for funding provided from the bill that she voted against. The larger point, you can't have it both ways. For many in Congress, it's easy to vote no on controversial, massive spending packages and then turn around and hammer those who voted yes as big spenders and irresponsible with your tax dollars. No one likes everything in a big piece of legislation, but you got to vote and then you got to stand by your vote. If you vote no, don't take credit for what's in the bill. That's just dishonest. Keeping the full story from your voters. Don't your constituents deserve the truth?